All right, this is gonna be difficult for you to see and for me to do, but we're gonna try and stock the shelves. I have the tiniest bit of blue tack to try and put on a couple of things because I should have got something probably a bit like better, but this is what we're working with. So we're gonna start with those teeny tiny shelves at the back. Apparently they have a couple of these tiny canisters and two tiny bags of coffee. Such a pain in my butt to make. Everything was a pain in my butt to make. <laughs> but these tiny coffee bags, like a lot of the paper stuff I didn't end up making. Is that gonna focus? Is it too close? It might be too close. <laughs> um, the paper things I really didn't like making. Um, they're just too difficult. There's a couple of paper plates and I tried to make one and got sad. So that's why I pulled out the teeniest, tiniest dinner set I own. It looks much cuter than anything that I could make. Uh, well, out of paper anyway. I might be able to make something reasonably cute in like an oak clay or something, but yeah, not just on its own, I'm afraid. It's not gonna work for me. All right, I'm just putting the tiniest bit of blue tack on the little bits I'm gonna try and put in. Now, I know that I'm not following the book exactly. I kind of actually did it backwards. I started with the big bits and worked down to the little bits. So now I have to find where in this silly book. Oh, there it is. It doesn't really matter, but they were like canister, canister, coffee, coffee. And I think I might do that because it's fun. All right, can I do this with my hand? Do I need tweezers? Ooh, big fat fingers. Oh my gosh, I didn't actually see if these canisters fit in there. Oh my god, don't they fit? That is the funniest thing. Hmm. Alright then. Not going there. Uh, maybe the teeny tiny coffee can still live up there. Mm. Uh, definitely going to need tweezers to put that down. You probably can't see anything because my hands are in the way. Ow. <laughs> I don't even know how to stick that down. Um, alright, well, yep, that's just how it's going to be then. Alright, tiny coffee number two. Am I going to knock the first one down? Probably. Uh oh. Uh. Nope. <laughs> this is really hard. Alright, knock that over. Maybe that can go anyway. How do they look? A little wonky. Maybe that just adds to authenticity. I'm sure. All right, <laughs> fine, you can stay there. So on the counter, there was supposed to be this, whoop, focus, <laughs> full of tiny snacks. But then you can only see it sort of over there. So there's like a little window over here that I think I might put them in instead. Um, which means I can put some extra little things on there, which would probably be these little canisters now. Oh, there's supposed to be an open one sitting there too. Oops. <laughs> too tiny, too tiny. And open one. Uh oh. Go on, fall over. Alright, how does that look? Nope, that one's a bit wonky too. And then there's a coffee grinder and a teapot. Oh my gosh, can I put the teapot in there? Oh, maybe I can move that over a little. Squish you all up in that corner. See what happens. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is, yeah, like I said, just a lot more difficult. Giant sausage fingers. All right, that's a little better. You will get a better view of this when I go around and take some uh, better picture or something. Maybe a video going around. Because, uh, yeah, you really can't see what's happening a lot. What do we think? I'm going to go a tiny bit more. Maybe you can go over there a tiny bit more, maybe. Alright, I like it so far. Next. Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe I should put the bigger stuff in. Big furniture time. There's the most, most giant cat tree. Maybe I should show you before I put it in. 
all of this is painted um, I can show you what colors they were but they're all boring so I went through and decided what colors I liked on everything and I don't know I made it more me because it was really boring oh that is so cute all right I have a tiny tiny chair well floor chair supposed to go around about there and there is the most giant pillow to go on that Oop, okay wow that's going better than I thought all right now there's two tables and they are a little bit wonky because I can't make tables properly wouldn't trust me to be a carpenter um, so I'm going to have to take a tiny plate and see how big it looks against this. I don't even know if you can see it right now. Oop, stay. All right, there is a tinier plate than that. Oh, cute. All right, what fits on that tinier plate? Mm, does cake fit on that? Oh my goodness. Oh, just. All right, that's great. So there are two tables and four little floor cushions. So maybe if I do that and, oh, actually, oh, okay, that all fell down. I will put some stuff on there uh, and I will show you before I put them in. Oop. Oh my gosh, there's the tiniest sale sign for the top of that um, little display. I keep nearly losing it. It's going to happen. <laughs> I probably won't even notice it's missing, to be honest. All right. Uh, a big plate and a little plate on each tiny table. Ooh, wish me luck. This is what they look like. They're really cute. Uh, can I get it far enough away so you can see? There's two tiny macarons and this tiny fork on that cake. And hopefully somewhere over there. If I can get it to stay. Oh, cute. Uh oh, I just oh, wiggled that, so it's not going to be in the same spot anymore, sorry. Yeah, I still don't know whether you can see any better there, but oh well. Uh, second table, it's so cute too. Oh, I didn't think I didn't make them like orientated the same way. I don't know if anyone's going to notice they're actually cat paws in there anyway. Whoops, uh oh. <laughs> That's my bad. I probably should have tacked those little cookies down. Come on, guys. Whoop. All right. Something like that. And then there are four of these teeny, oops, tiny floor cushions in the shape of teeny kitty heads. Uh, uh oh, I can see a fork on the floor. That's not good. Come here. Yeah. Oh, can I do it back on there? Well, I can't do it. Alright. You have to come out then. Alright. Teeny tiny floor cushions. Oh, I might use tweezers to break that across. Oh, cute. And another one on that side. And two on the other side. Uh oh. No, giant sausage fingers. So, yay. My camera stopped and I didn't notice. So, we have it mostly finished. I pulled a few bits back out so I can show them to you as I put them on there. Um, but things like this little plate with all the tiny cookies, flowers in a vase, tiny coffee. Um, they're kind of glued down with a little bit of blue tack. The chairs have a bit at the front. This little pot plant, whoop, just here does. Um, the bottle that these things are in has a bit. Um, and I probably should put some on this because it was easy to take out. But I don't think I'll be moving it that much. Um, I'm not sure if it's 
going to focus terribly well because it is awfully small uh, and shiny. Oh my goodness. No, I don't think we're going to get a good shot of that that close. Uh, I popped that there. It was supposed to be inside, but I thought it looked better somewhere. You could see it Oop, a little better. Um, and on the inside, uh, I will show you better views of this. I'll probably just um, take some video, put it to some music, just looking around at things. So you can have a really good look what's in there. And oh, it's going to focus on the front, not the back. Oh well, um, I don't know if you need to see me putting this kettle back because it fell over. I should have put a bit more um, blue tack on it, or some blue tack, I should say. Oh, can I do this around the camera so you can see it too? Probably not. Ah, no. <laughs> it's just not going to work for me. All right, hang on. I'm going to put it in there and you can have a look in a sec. Oop. All right, kettle in the back there now uh, with a grinder and some, I don't know, jars of things and you can see at the back the cat tree and the plants and the lights oh my goodness the lights all right oh and if you can see on the floor oh, I'll show you later but that is um off a towel that I bought in Japan and it's just like a picture of it on the packaging and I think it looks so freaking cute just there um I don't know how to explain any of this to you guys like I was going to try and talk to you about what I did but like honestly see like this it was I think orange um so I just painted the pieces black and put it together and then any pieces that I didn't like if there was like little paper bits or something to it um like those little jars were supposed to have or oh, oh, jars back there <laughs> anyway um labels but then you couldn't see what was inside and I didn't like it so, uh oh, <laughs> falling in slow motion. Um, I just changed colour of anything I liked and this had a light poking out with no cover over it. So I kind of just coloured in with um, Sharpie, a bit of, oh, what's that stuff? Glue stuff. Anyway, put it there. So anything I didn't like the colour of, I changed. Um, and that was about it. The kit's pretty much together how it was supposed to be. There's like a few variations, but nothing terribly, like, I didn't make entirely new bits. Um, this was a sticker and originally it was an orange cat so I just cut the orange fur bits off, stuck it on there. That's a bit of pink paint. Oh my god, I am pointing so nowhere you can see it. All right, that <laughs> was orange cat. So I just cut out the eyeballs, the nose, pa repainted the nose, little bits in the ears and there was, uh, I don't even remember what was supposed to be there. Anyway, there's a purple bow, not that you can see it with that much lighting behind it, but like little things like that. Um, I just found a way to make it look aesthetically how I would like it. So like in there, the bits to the cat thing on the wall, I painted all those because I didn't like the colour. But the brickwork behind it was the original, like um, this stuff too, was all the original what was supposed to be there. This bit around the door, I didn't like, and I'm still not 100% keen on it because, you know, things happen. But, like, that's a lot better than it was supposed to look, in my opinion. And things like this, supposed to be pink, and a lot of the furniture, like, oh, can we see that chair? That grey chair back there? I'll put a pillow on it. Um, it was supposed to be, I think, blue, and this cushion was supposed to be a different colour. So I just went through my materials, just got scraps out. I went, yep, that's going to look really cool. Again, I don't think I can do this with it that way. I don't think I can do it the other way either. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. All right, cushion. Yep, mostly in place. It'll be fine. Um, And this was supposed to go on the wall. It's all the kitties you can choose from. 
but I kind of wanted it there but not on the wall so I thought maybe like a brochure thing oh gosh I need to find more blue tack I think all right for the moment <laughs> you can just go there beautiful and all right if we can turn it back around a little these are the tables one is a lot wonkier than the other so that's one I'm gonna put at the back oh and I have to stand them up to figure out which one that one is it really needs a bit of blue tack on the bottom because it keeps falling over uh, can I do this nope <laughs> drop the tweezers first and oh no <laughs> my hands are too big at least it's not my spoon hey <laughs> oh, gosh um, I think I'm old, if anyone remembers why your spoon is too big. Oh, let me know. Alright, <laughs> I'm going to pop both of these tables in and show you in a sec. Also, those teeny tiny cushions, like floor cushions, I'll put in. Okay, tiny tables and that cushion fell over when I was moving it that seems right and I better pick that up all right um I'll fix that in a minute so you can just look at the pretty things but in the meantime oh focus no we're too close okay on the outside on the front porch I made a little cat dangler there's a whole container of them over there this one's on the chair because someone was playing and then I thought that cat oh my gosh was supposed to go like over here serving coffee but I thought it might be a bit cheeky oh I'm just knocking everything over now and oh trying to get up on the chair oh all right I'm gonna set this up and try and take some pretty shots so you can see everything um I really don't know how else to explain what I've done to this thing then Everything that was a colour that I didn't approve of, I changed the colour. Like, this little pet food thing. <sighs> oh my god, at the back. Can you see that? No, of course not. Hang on. Alright, see this little container of food? You have to make it from, um, oh my gosh, paper. And it was a pain in my butt. And then there was a metal thimble bit that you put in. I was supposed to have like brown chopped up felt as food uh, so I nail polished it because the red looked really bad and then put clear beads in it um, it was gonna look like water and then I just piled them on top but like think that to like everything I didn't like um, and followed the rest of the instructions pretty well except for I made it backwards according to the instructions it told you to make all the little stuff like all these teeny things and then make the big stuff and put it together but I did it backwards I did the big stuff because I thought that was going to get me a better feel for what I wanted everything to look like if I did like this silver in there I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be wood colored um and this was wood colored so I just didn't like brown so I changed all the colors um and added a few little like these tiny little plates from a tea set. I think I already said that. Um, and yeah, made it backwards. Made all the big structure. Um, I didn't put the roof on. So I could like make sure all of this I could put in properly. So then I put the um, these bottom bits on the base. Oh, you'll see it in a minute. Um, there's a white pattern around the base. And then there's this wood. And then I put the walls up. Um, and made sure all these bits could fit in and then I realized that I wanted to make sort of like this cupboard to make sure it fit in properly and the cat tree because I didn't know if that would fit in after I put the roof on so I made those and then made all the roof bits so I could put them on um, 
so yeah, made sure everything was going to fit in and out of that door, put the roof on, and I don't know, I loved it. I really didn't think it was going to turn out this good. I um, am impressed with myself, and I can't believe that I did this, even though I'm staring at it, looking at it, going, I remember doing this and this. Yep, I didn't really have many skills. I used what I had lying around, and I just love it. I'm so glad the lights work after all that because I didn't like I haven't done electrically like of course experiment stuff but nothing I cared about if it worked <laughs> so I had to make sure I could well actually I got my partner to kind of twist wires <laughs> but after like everything's said and done all the lights still work so I impressed myself with that and I don't know it's just freaking cute little cookies are cute cake sandwiches I have a whole bunch of other kittens I thought about putting throughout this, but I don't know. I'll think about it for a while because there's not really many places to put them, like apart from all up like, the cat stairs. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, if I play with it some more, I'll let you know. I was supposed to have made a dust cover for it. I haven't got that far yet, so hopefully I'll do that before it gets dusty, because I really don't want to dust that. And, um, if there's any questions, let me know, but it's, yeah, just pretty much the book, but backwards and changing all the parts I didn't like. Alright, um, thanks for watching, and if I try this again, I'll try and be more thorough with my filming. Well, it's annoying, like, months of clips, putting them all together. <sighs> Sounds like effort. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.